He's taking on the big shot and working hard to get you answers. Steve Andrews is Target 8. Lost. A judge ordered that she be placed in a state mental hospital for treatment. Instead, she's languished in the Polk County Jail for 14 months. Now, someone has dropped the ball here big time. Instead of getting the therapy and medicine that she needed, a 30-year-old Polk County mentally ill woman was just another inmate at the Polk County Jail. Target 8 senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews tells us several agencies are now scrambling to figure out how this happened. Yeah, you know, the sheriff's office missed this. The public defender's office really had no clue about this. Blame might also be cast at the prosecutor, clerk of the court, maybe DCF. It's left this woman's family unnerved. It's heavy. I don't want to leave here knowing that my sister dies in Polk County Jail when all she needs is treatment. Diane Jenkins is angry and terrified. Her schizophrenic, bipolar sister, 30-year-old Octavia Jordan, fell through the cracks. Jailed for violation of probation, a judge ordered the Department of Children and Families commit Octavia to a state mental hospital back in April 2017. Instead, Octavia sat in the Polk County Jail for the last 14 months. That should have never happened. There's plenty of blame to go around. Public defender Rex Dimmig's office represented Octavia. Should you have known she was in jail for 14 months and just languishing there? I think it's everybody's responsibility in the criminal justice system to see to it that the orders of the court are followed out. Diane fears her sister went without much needed therapy and medication. Do we know if she's been medicated, if she's received the proper medication while she's been in the county jail? She is receiving it now. But that is a very recent uh, change. So she wasn't receiving it for the whole 13, 14 months? I can't say positively for the whole 13 or 14 months, but for a very long period of that time, she was not receiving medication. According to Rex Dimmick, getting Octavia to a mental health facility is his top priority. Identifying where the system broke down is the next order of business. There should have been a safety net to say, why is this person still sitting in our Polk County Jail? Taxpayer is paying for her to just sit there with no treatment. Just fix the system so that no one else falls through a crack like this. Now, the public defender says the breakdown on his end came when his office didn't see Octavia's name on a list of inmates provided by the jail who were to be transported to DCF. The DCF claims it did not receive a court order in 2017 to take Octavia, so she has sat there for 14 months. So DCF said, we didn't know about it, so we couldn't no. do anything about it. So no. whose job was it, responsibility anyway, to notify DCF? Well, that would be the clerk of the court who told me that their procedure is to notify the sheriff and DCF of a court order at the same time, but it has no proof DCF was in fact notified. As the public defender said, looks like there is plenty of blame yeah. to go around oh, here. And this like it. is a tragedy. Yeah, it is. All right. Thank you, Steve. Mm -hmm. If you have a problem you'd like Steve to investigate, call our Target 8 helpline, 1-800-338-0808.